happy Lovecraft Sunday to all of you guys. I'm so happy to jump back into episode 5, season 1 of Lovecraft Country with you guys with full spoilers, of course. This is where we have a great conversation down below in the comment section. If you haven't come back later this week, make sure to go check out the rest of my season reviews. I've done every episode so far, and I've absolutely loved this show, and a lot of you guys have been as well. And the comment section has been one of my favorite places to dive into the show with a lot of you guys. And surely enough, this week I think is going to be the most talked about episode yet because holy shit guys oh my god lovecraft country episode 5 strange case is probably the weirdest craziest and most unique episode we have gotten so far so i need to hear about all your guys thoughts down below in the comment section as well as hitting that like and subscribe button guys keep coming back keep talking to lovecraft every single sunday i love talking all this sorts of geeky content i want to keep talking to all with you guys down below in the comment section i got my notes ready i hope you guys do as well i decided this week to kind of split it up and really determine between william blue eyes and christina and ruby all of them all together in one segment and of course Atticus his father and Letty in another person and then I have like kind of like my little hidden details that I wonder how it is and I want your guys' feedback on so let's jump into Ruby let's just jump into her she is definitely the big character of this because the synopsis talks about after making a devil's bargain with William Ruby steps into the charmed shoes of a white woman but her transformation only fortifies her resentment of the racial divide more I, again, was really interested in this episode because it has this opening scene. And, you know, at the end of the last episode, we saw Ruby slept with William. It goes about in this, there's this opening scene. She's struggling to move, which is really unique. But then we start getting this body horror, the way that her body's shifting and everything. And the police handling Ruby and handling the boy who, like, was just trying to see if she was okay. Because now we see that Ruby is in a white person's body. Like, oh my god. Like, really cool stuff in there. And, of course, like, the way that her eyes were changing in the car. And, again, the movements of her. Once she finally gets to the house with William, it's kind of like a scene from the damn exorcism. The mix with the mutations, the body, and <laughs> William. William cutting her out of the body. Ugh, sick. I literally felt grossed out inside my stomach in many of the different moments where she was transforming. You have that one scene where she's running to the elevator and she's slamming her hand against the wall and there's all this blood. And of course, when we get to the final sequence, we will talk about with her boss. Oh my god. You know, it's just great. I, I have to give major, major, major props to the, either the special effects department, the CGI, all sorts of stuff that was able to bring that about in such a normal, gross, but really bringing you in and feeling realistic type of tone. It was so disgusting. But going into there, one of the tiny details I also noticed was there was an eye in her throat, and I was like, oh my god, throw that away. I, I don't know if anyone else noticed the eye in the throat. Let me know down below in the comment section if you did, because I was just like, that that's so disgusting. Um, Really enough, though, getting, getting opened up by blue eyes and all this sorts of stuff we see ruby going back and she's giving this potion she says if you want to turn back from this you can the monologue on this and i like this is she said that people being scared for her instead of of her i think that's an important line in here and again one of my favorite things about the show so far is again how it continues to through line through what's going on with of course atticus and the whole sons of Anubs, adams and everything of that nature but also the racial divide and, of course, the civil rights and, in general, racism during this time period, but also mixing it in with the horror tone. And I think this line really pieces together a big part of this show and especially this episode and what Ruby has been fighting for throughout this whole entire show since we've met her. And I've really adored what Ruby is able to do. Of course, the performance here is absolutely incredible. And it's just really wonderful to see how every single actor in here is able to really give a top tier performance. There's not one person out acting the other person. They're all at the top of their level and i think that's because of the material given to them and the direction being given to them as well well let's be honest one of my things about lovecraft so far has been the way that they select music into here and the way that it opens up with her going in for that interview was just fantastic the mu music choices in there of her wanting to get a job in here and she ends up getting the assistant manager was just fantastic and then she goes through her whole transformation which again was also just gross and disgusting and all sorts of stuff like that but I also liked seeing the race in the workplace and seeing how it's going about her and how she's treating also this other lady who's also working there, you know? It's very interesting to see how Ruby's going about it and how she's trying to push this lady to be at the top tier of her game. Act how a white person would act during this time period. It's it's so interesting to see how they were able to write this all into this episode. Sliding this all around, of course, we get to Ruby's big element of here. Deal with the devil. And William says, hey, you gotta go do this for me. Which, of course, we found out who William is towards the end, which we'll get to. I need to go to the captains, put this in his thing, which, again, she goes to, does it. There's a lot behind this captain we're going to learn about probably in the next couple of weeks. Because that guy in the closet, we're like, oh, 
what's going on with that dude? It's it's very intense and scary and all sorts of na of that nature. But again, I was like, what is going on here? I'm really on the edge of this. I don't know how to feel about it, but. You know, she does the whole job, does the whole de deal thing. First, the conversations that Ruby continues to have through here, whether it's with Christina or William, which we now that know that Christina and William are both the same person. I did not know that. A lot of people were commenting that last week, and I kept reading that, and I'm like, is that actually true? Is that not? Well, we find that out in this week, and it's really morphed and gross and disgusting the way that kind of all comes about. And of course, Ruby's like, seriously, that's what happened here? I'm like, yeah, girl, that's what happened here. Um, and I love that whole aspect of that reveal and how it comes about in this. And again, that plays a whole big element to Ruby, which of course we get this big fucked up thing. She goes in to quit and she tries like flirting with the guy, blah, 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 ties him up and then just starts shoving her fucking heel into his ass. I'm like, girl, you are fucking right. Hell yeah. Ruby, get it, man. Get it. She fucked him up. I loved all that stuff. And again, the writing, the music, everything in there just really worked overall for that whole entire thing. This whole thing, this whole episode, again, Lovecraft Country has been detailing into different elements of horror, and I love how they were able to detail into body horror this week around, and Ruby really just played it out in such a great way. The writing with it was all great, and again, added to this different dynamic, really touching into Christina a little bit more and understanding her a little bit more was interesting, and again, finding out that William transformation was really unique as well. But of course, let's get to Atticus and his father and Letty. Atticus beat the shit out of his father too. Really opened up a little different thing. Atticus and Letty's relationship and apologize. But damn, they got it on. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of sexual tension in this show, especially particularly in this episode a lot. I'm like, damn, what is everyone going on? Atticus says, dad, holy fuck, man. Um, we find out a lot about him and his past and what he's going through. And there's, again, that's stuff that's going to tie into later down the road and how much is going on. But I love, again, how we're the symbolism between these characters and again how much of this is really going to detail in Atticus obviously knows what his father did and I like how Letty's like well aren't you just understanding that he's just trying to protect you so we still don't know why Atticus father did that we don't know what he's trying to hide I'm still understanding this but of course we kind of get to the final moments of this episode which are really important and really detailing tons of times he's definitely the MVP of this episode she's absolutely great the basement door, William, Christina are the same person, that whole stuff. The effects for the shedding, the gross, all that sorts of stuff is great. But the final moments with Atticus on the phone and it spelling out die and that big question of what the hell is going on next? Where do we go next? I want to know what your guys' theories are down below. Where do you think this points us to? What is going to happen next week's episode? I don't watch the previews for next week's episode. I don't like to, but I still want to hear your guys' theories. So if you guys did get to check that out, let me know down below in the comment section as well. I, again, am just loving this show, and I really like how they are paralleling this show to so many different levels. Again, one of the smaller details that I really put into here is TV both times. There's moments where the TV is playing in front of them and the words going about it. And each and every time, I want to know what you guys think about the symbolism in that. Especially, there's two scenes in particular. One when Ruby is fucking up her manager and the other one of when uh, William or Christina was cutting her open. Those are two in particular moments that are really interesting. And the way that they took on the body horror this time around was just like how William said. It's kind of like a, a cocoon, a morphism. And this is such an interesting show. And the way that... Some of this could maybe feel off tone, but it doesn't. And they are really well into writing that all to where the themes all come about in such a particular manner that I absolutely fall for this show more and more. I'm really loving this show, and I think this is absolutely one of the best shows that has come out in such a long time. I'm currently still reading the book. I'm reading up to like where I am in the show. But I'm really interested now in all this sorts of stuff. So I'm really curious again, guys. This is an episode that I'm sure many of you guys are going to be freaking out about. Let me know down below in the comment section if there's anything I didn't miss. If there's anything I really did miss. Again, I really focused a lot more on Ruby because I think she was the more interesting aspect of this whole entire episode. And where that kind of leads with her, Christina, and William. There's some stuff, again, with Atticus's father that we finally find out more about his background and his, you know, his relationships that we didn't know about. But now that adds a little bit more of a layer to him that I'm wondering how we'll come into a different picture. Atticus and Letty and that giant thing at the end with Atticus is going to definitely play into next week's. I am just excited to see where the show goes. It's such an unpredictable show, but it's one that keeps me intrigued every single week. And I'm sure it's doing the same thing to you guys as well. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, guys. Thank you guys again for clicking on this. And of course, until next time, stay classy.